Hi everyone and thanks for joining me in this video. So today I'm here with the other two Dream Seekers dolls. So I've opened one uh, previously. I will link that one down below. I think it was Bella that I opened. Um, so today I have Hope who I'm going to be unboxing and also Luna which is this beautiful kind of white-ish one here. Um, so yeah, really excited to open all three of these and then at the end of the video I'll show a little close-up and I'll show where I'm displaying them. I've moved them around a little bit. I've decided I want to actually keep them in this room which is my living room. Um, so I'm going to put them in here. I've got a little display kind of behind me over that way. Um, and then I'm going to try and decide which is my favourite to least favourite out of them. I think they're all really beautiful so that's going to be really tough. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So let's start with Luna then. So here she is in the box. I did go into a bit of detail um, for the box in the previous video, but we can see it says Dream Seekers. Thus, they're set on this nice cardboard sort of um, display here. And it's nice as well because there's not very much plastic with these. The shoes are at the front. And then on the back, we have this really cute art. I love this here. She's in kind of a really weird pose here, like a, a ballet dancer or something like that. And some information here showing how you could display them. And there's the other two. Um, so about this one, so Luna. Luna is a dancer and will stop at nothing until she reaches her dream. She believes that confidence can help everyone achieve their dreams. So that's pretty cute. So these are made by Moose Toys. They retail in the UK for, I want to say, I think it's £20, uh, which I think is pretty fair seeing as they're quite big. And they're really nicely made, like fabric and nice hair and a lot of all these different materials that they've used. This one's got fluffy wings, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start snipping her out of the box. Now, these are generally quite easy to get out of the box without wrecking it. Um, you kind of just want to find where there are little plastic tags. So like there's one attaching the wings here and then you just want to get the scissors behind and snip that off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do all of that now. And then the last thing that needs to be snipped are just some couple of like little zip tie style things which are on the arms. So here is Luna now that she's free from the box. These dolls are ever so light. There's not that much weight to them at all. They're very kind of bendy and almost flimsy feeling, but that's quite nice because it means that they do actually sit quite well. So I love her color scheme. She's kind of white with like this icy blue. Um, so if we look at her little face, she's got bright blue eyes as well. I love this glitter kind of coming through her hair with the ribbon. These dolls all have like these little feather designs in their hair, which I think is really cool because it links with the dream catcher theme. Um, and she's just really sparkly so she's got like this sparkly skirt and top I like the little designs on the arms as well that's pretty cute and her wings are, are kind of weird they're really really fluffy obviously with like faux fur which I'm kind of liking kind of not liking generally I don't really like furry things like this but it's pretty cool I like that it's a, a unique material at least um, and the hair is actually really cute at the back she's got this little bit that just kind of comes down and I love this braid that's so pretty so these dolls do sit really nicely on a surface. So you can see she's just on my hand there. And they're almost like a little bit weighted at the bottom, I would say. And their legs kind of bend and can be crossed over, which is quite cool. Um, and the skirts are just kind of flowing out. So yeah, I really like that they can just be sat on display because that's definitely what I wanted to do with them. So here's the box here. So we can see we've got some little ballet slippers there. And if we pull this down, we could write a dream in there. That's obviously not something I'm particularly interested in, but that could be fun for kids. Um, and then we just have to free her little ballet slippers. So here are Luna's shoes. They're a very nice kind of rubbery material, very flexible. Um, I found the shoes a little bit tricky to get on last time, so hopefully these will be all right, especially when there's all this uh, stuff going up the leg. And there's a little like bow at the back as well, which is quite cute. So those went on actually really easily. They really slipped on. I don't know if I've put them on perfectly straight. Maybe they need to be turned to the front a little bit. But yeah, they went on really simple, which was nice. And um, the other ones, I think maybe because they were more of an enclosed kind of trainer, I had to shove them in a little bit. Um, but yeah, those look pretty cute. I like that she's got like these light blue tights and her hair really is soft. Obviously, it's got some kinks in it um, from where she was in that packaging. But hopefully that'll kind of even out with a bit of time. Um, but yeah, I think this one's really beautiful as well. I like her. If anything, I would say she is a bit too like white. I love this kind of icy blue they've got going on. They could have had a bit more blue maybe incorporated into the dress rather than just the tights. Um, she's quite monochrome almost. Um, but apart from that, I think she's absolutely gorgeous. So let's open up Hope now. And I love how colourful she is. It's quite nice that they did that kind of monochrome one. And then this one who's all kind of rainbows. She actually reminds me quite a bit of Rainbow Kate the Shoppy Doll, if anybody knows that character. Um, but yeah, she looks super cute. This one's got little trainers. Um, so here's the art on the back. 
Another really cute design. I just love this doll artwork. It's so nice. I would love to draw some of those. Um, but yeah, so Hope, she's always beaming with colour and positivity. She dreams that everyone can find their own happiness of rainbows. There we go. Okay, right. So once again, I'm going to free her. So here is Hope. So I'd say out of the three, she was the most difficult to open um, because her wings are kind of like encased in some plastic. I can show you here. There's this plastic that you kind of have to cut around, which was a little bit more fiddly, especially when you don't want to cut the wings. Um, but yeah, here she is. I love how shiny these wings are. And they are actually, um, you can kind of see through them a little bit, which is really cool. I really love this one for the kind of rainbow aesthetic. It looks so pretty. So she's got a little fringe. So there's quite a lot of um, like glue in her hair to kind of keep these curls and stuff, but it looks really nice. She's got this kind of rainbow ribbon coming down as well. And once again, these two, oh, I just realized I need to snip those bits off from the hair. But that's all free now. So her hair looks quite cute kind of just behind her. And she's actually got a little feather on that side as well, which is cute. That's all kind of shimmery. So I think out of everything, I really love her skirt. I love um, this kind of effect, like ombre effect of all the different colors. It's so pretty. On her wrist, she's got that cute little design there with a little cloud and a rainbow, and she's got purple tights. Yeah, really, really stunning. She might be my favorite one, possibly. So here are her shoes. Once again, a nice kind of rubbery plastic. These are just little white trainers, and they've got like a kind of rainbow design and a sun on them. And then on the back of the packaging, um, her packaging is definitely a little bit harder to keep neat. Um, she's got this little pattern and then once again just to write um, a dream in there. So her shoes also went on incredibly easy. I feel like I always make them too wide. Maybe I need to just twist them in a little bit to make them look a bit straighter. Um, but yeah, they went on super easily. So yeah, she looks really awesome. So here are the three dolls on my display. I do think they look absolutely adorable like this. Obviously the rest of this is a bit of a mess, um, but I'm gonna get around to obviously tidying that. Um, but yeah, here's just a close up of all of them once again. So yeah, so I definitely have to say that Hope is my favourite because I love her rainbow aesthetic and I really like her hair as well. I love the fringe and kind of what they did from it kind of coming down from the top and like these curls look really cute. Um, and then between the other two, it's really difficult. I would probably have to say my second would be Luna um, and then Bella would be the third. Um, I really like these colours of Luna and you don't often see a doll that's kind of white and blue. So I thought that was quite different and her face is super pretty. Um, with Bella, she just seemed a little bit more plain to me. I mean, I feel, still think she's amazing. She's probably got the best wings, um, but her t-shirt was a little bit plain for my liking and the shoes, while cute, maybe a little bit basic. So yeah, I think that was probably the order. So actually technically the order, I've got them in here. So thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Let me know down in the comments if you liked Bella, Hope or Luna the best out of these Dream Seeker dolls. I think they're absolutely beautiful, definitely worth the money for me and I'm excited to see if they bring out any more. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye!